There we go. Took me a while to get it going. Sometimes when I try to do a live video, it doesn't want to work for me, but that's okay. So I'm just hanging out. Waiting for some people to show up. So today, we're just doing a question and answer type of thing regarding chakras, energy, frequency, and vibration. I figured this would be a good way to share certain things with each other. I know there's a lot of us that are kind of thinking the same way, a lot of us going through a lot of spiritual changes and a lot of energy shifts right now. There's a lot going on on the planet. So I figured I'd open up in a live video just so we can share any spiritual experience that we, experiences that we've all been having. Or maybe we just have some questions about meditation or sacred geometry. Feel free to ask some questions. I'm just gonna be here relaxing. Let's pick a specific topic. Let's talk about Synchronicity. Do we know what synchronicity is? I'm sure a lot of us are having synchronicities in our life and we aren't really aware of it. The word sin emanates from the Greek, together. Kron, happening. Essentially, it means happening at the same time, synchronicity. A lot of us are seeing numbers, 111, 333, 777. So we're going to talk about it. We're just going to wait for some more people to show up and ask some questions. We're going to share experiences that we've had together. some 432 hertz vibrations playing in the background hopefully you can hear that Like I said, this is just for fun. Diving into deep thoughts that we might have. Maybe I should have gave you guys a whole day to... I should have made that status like this morning. That's all right, we can always do this. I'll make another one tomorrow. So, 
I want to talk about synchronicities. So synchronicities is a synchronicity it's tied directly to numbers. Everything is numbers. Everything is frequency, everything is vibration. And honestly, everything was numbers before there were words. Are you guys seeing a lot of synchronicities in your life? 11, 11, 3, 3, 3. Do you see these numbers a lot? They each have a very deep meaning, deeper than you would think. Another synchronicity could be, say you're thinking about guitars, right? And then you walk down the street and you see somebody with a guitar shirt. That's a synchronicity right there. What happens is, once you are more in alignment with yourself, you start to get more synchronicities. Everything is frequency and vibration. And sometimes people ask me, they're like, Chris, how come I'm, I'm using the law of attraction? I'm seeing a lot of synchronicities and I can't seem to get what I want. I can't seem to manifest things. I can't seem to manifest certain things that I want. <laughs> you never attract what you want. You only attract what you are. The frequency that you vibrate at. What you seek is always seeking you. It's all about raising that vibration. 11, 11. In ancient times, that was known as a gateway number a gateway into change, something of the unknown. Three, two, every number has a deep meaning. It's about paying attention to the signs when you do get them and acknowledging them, realizing that this world isn't exactly what we thought it was. There are a lot of things that we don't know about. We've only discovered about 10% of the ocean, maybe less. Never mind our minds. So again, bringing back synchronicities. I see Scott Mann is watching at the moment. Nope, not anymore. So we're just having some fun, opening up our mind a little bit, talking about some deep stuff. Again, if you have any questions or just something you'd like to share, please feel free. I'll try to do this a lot more often. A lot of us are having a lot of spiritual experiences in our life and we aren't really paying attention to it or really acknowledging it. Some of us are. Some of us are thinking about it in the back of our head and we're just kind of like, you know, this can't be, this can't be true, this can't, that's like too aligned, there's no way that could have actually happened or whatever. But there are no accidents. Everything happens for a reason. It's about acknowledging the signs that you do get and paying attention. What's up, Billy? We're talking about some deep stuff here. Opening up with some spiritual experiences we might have had. Energy shifts that are happening on the planet. I know I'm not the only one that has had these experiences. There's a lot of us that are going through certain things. A lot of emotion and blockages going on within us. Numbers and synchronicities, it's important to pay attention to them. 
I've been seeing 444 a lot. 444. You're doing the right thing at the right time. Looking back at the number four. North, south, east, east, west. We have four seasons. <laughs> the word only numbers before words. And everything is made up of numbers. And some people find the number 666 scary. <laughs> A lot of times we find things we don't know scary or things that we were programmed to believe. If you look deeper into things, you'll find the truth. 666 of the number six. Six protons, six electrons, six neutrons. That's a carbon atom. That is life. So again, just opening up, talking about any spiritual experiences we may be having or synchronicities we may be experiencing in our life. Hello, I've seen you do this before, but I'm curious, so I'm gonna watch for a bit. Cool. So, we're just opening up and we're talking about spiritual experiences that we might have had in the past, and a lot of us are having a lot of synchronicities, and it's because there's a big energy shift happening on the planet right now. I'll kind of go through what synchronicities are again. Sin, emanating from the Greek, together. Kron, happening at the same time. I used this example earlier. A synchronicity could be, you're thinking about something, and then all of a sudden, somebody walks by wearing that t-shirt, of that same exact thing you were just thinking of. That's a synchronicity. Everything comes down to sacred geometry and numbers. So like I said, if we have any questions or things we want to share, please feel free. There's a lot of us that are having these experiences and we should really open up and talk about them. Because they are happening. And again, there are no accidents. Are you having any spiritual experiences in your life, or synchronicities. Are you seeing 333 a lot? Three is a magic number. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Number one, the beginning. Some of us are seeing two. The intuition. Are you seeing certain numbers a lot? Better pay attention to your signs. Let's talk about frequency and vibration. This is what we are. Everything comes down to a vibration, which simply means movement. Now everything is moving. Nothing is still. As a matter of fact, everything appears solidified when in reality it's moving really, really quickly. A lot of these things we're programmed to believe aren't necessarily true. There are a lot of secrets, there are a lot of things that are unknown to us. I'll mention this again. We've only discovered 3% of the ocean, less than 10% of our mind. So again, I know I'm doing a lot of talking here. Feel free to open up, feel free to ask questions, feel free to share. This is, what I, this is why I'm doing this. I know I'm not the only one that is having these experiences. Let me see. I had an experience the other day where I was doing something, then I got a weird feeling like it had happened already or that it was happening again. Any thoughts on that? Yeah, that's deja vu. Usually deja vu means you're doing the right thing at the right time. <laughs> I feel personally that they connect to our dreams in a way.
in my opinion, has something to do with alignment. You're doing the right thing at the right time. And like I said before, it's all about raising that vibration. That's what everything is. That's what everything comes down to. Everything is a vibration. Low vibrations will make you feel negative. High vibrations is where we're supposed to be. Look at the visible light spectrum. We have from red, we have violet. Red will vibrate at the lowest frequency. These are the colors that we exist of. Its wavelength is the slowest, red. As you go further down the scale, you get to violet, while violet vibrates the fastest. However, the scale goes on infinitely. Below red, you have microwaves, radio waves. Okay, is that a common thing? Another life, etc. Like, I'm remembering parts of it. I don't know if you talk about stuff like that. Yeah, definitely. Like I said, we're, we're talking about things, weird experiences that we might not have. No, I don't know everything. I'm always learning. But that's why we're doing this. We're sharing experiences that we might have had and that we're all going through. There's a huge energy shift going on, on the planet right now. And yeah, Earth, Earth is like an airport. There's people coming and going. And essentially, our soul has a journey. And we come down to Earth to learn certain lessons and raise our vibration and our consciousness and awareness. It is very possible that we have lived this life before or have had similar, similar life experiences or even past lives. It's very common. Everybody has deja vu. And it's weird because it really does generate deja vus. It generates a, a similar, a similar vibration that you feel like you've felt before. Feelings are vibrations, emotions, the way we feel, everything is frequency and vibration. Your thoughts, you have delta waves, theta waves, beta waves. So that's a good thing to talk about, past experiences and past lives. It's good to dive deep and connect together and share our experiences because we're all different creatures, we're all different instruments. However, we are all connected. We're all one. When two people are in love, they embody the love frequency, which is a high vibration. They almost become whole again. And separation is actually an illusion. We are all connected. Personally, I feel like the only thing that isn't an illusion is love. That's what we're all striving for. We all want to be loved, we all want to be appreciated, and we all want to be acknowledged. And we should be. We all came here to do something specific at a certain time. Maybe all the time we're supposed to be doing our purpose, but it takes time to understand and get there and realize what your purpose is. And that's what life's about. It's a journey. There's no ending. Stop looking for the finish line and just be. It's called becoming your greatest version, not became. It's a verb, it's a constant thing. We all have a soul journey or a soul purpose. Usually your soul purpose is aligned with what has felt good to you your entire life. For me, I've always been really aligned with music. Even in school, I was always tapping on the tables, like playing the drums with pens, and I've always just been so drawn to music and beats and 
I would try to pick up a guitar and I would start playing it, even though I wasn't too great, but I just felt like that was what I should be doing, you know? What have you felt like you've always should have been doing? What, are you, what do you love doing? That's probably tied to your soul purpose or your divine purpose. Is there something that you love doing? That has always felt good to you? You see, we don't attract what we want. We attract what we feel and what we actually are. A lot of times people will come into our life, people will come and go, and we wonder why. Well, that's good. That's how I am, but with singing, whether I'm good at it or not, that's a beautiful thing. I wasn't the, always the best singer. I can sing now. It takes practice and it takes time. For me, I had to let go of habits that weren't serving me. You know, I was, I'm an honest person, I'll be straight up with you. I was, I was smoking a lot of weed. I was drinking coffee a lot. Not that those are necessarily the worst things for you. But for me personally, I was, my whole life seemed to be revolved around it and that's all I really wanted to do. When I got out of work, I just wanted to smoke and drink coffee. That's all I wanted to do. And, like I said, not that those are necessarily bad for you or like the worst things in the world for you. Yes, yeah, smoke isn't really good. Caffeine isn't really the best thing for you. Sugar doesn't really affect you in a negative way, but it's not really the best thing either. So you gotta ask yourself, is this truly meant for me? Do I feel like this was truly meant for me? So I had to let go of the habits that weren't serving me that I was spending all my time doing, that was tricking me into thinking I was comfortable and safe, when in reality it was the catalyst to my demise and it was holding me back. So, I had to break my routine. I had to break my routine and I had to create a new theme. My new theme is meditation with Chris at three o'clock. I'll be doing it every day. I hope to see you there. This is the, d the direction the universe is going. What's happening is the planets, I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with the planets, man, but there's a lot of funky stuff going on. We, we're living in the time of Aquarius right now. This is the time for knowledge and understanding. A lot of energy shifts are going on. I understand what you're saying, it makes a lot of sense. It does. Essentially, what's been happening with the planets is aligned with the Great Awakening. What's happening is a lot of people are starting to wake up on the planet right now and starting to increase their vibration, and it's causing a huge, huge energy shift in the planet right now. And essentially, the goal is to increase your vibration so you can go faster and faster and faster so you are, you're energetic, you are flush, you are healthy. And essentially, the vibrations on the planets are doubling and doubling and doubling. In the universe. So again, for me, I had to let go of the habits that weren't serving me to make room for the things that were truly meant for me. I had to let go of the habits that weren't serving me to make room for what was truly meant for me. There are things that are truly meant for you. You're not in control, no matter how much you want to be. The only thing you really have control over is yourself. Everything else just is. Just take control of your life. Again, for me, I had to let go of all my negative habits. Right now, right now, 
I only have room for people who want to be their greatest versions. I only have time and make space. I only make space for the things that are truly aligned and meant for me. So again, what we're doing here is we're talking about spiritual experiences that we might have. We're talking about synchronicities that are coming in our life. We're seeing 333. We're seeing 777. Chris, what are all these numbers? I don't understand. I'm seeing all these numbers. Follow your signs. Pay attention. Do research. Pay attention to every little thing that happens because there absolutely are no accidents. I promise you that. Everything is sacred geometry. Everything is numbers. It's almost like a computer simulation. Zero, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one. <laughs> Yes, you can create your own reality if you take control of your own life. However, you're not in control of anything else besides yourself. Again, I had to physically, mentally, and spiritually let go. And when I say let go, I don't mean, yeah, let's sit back and let's let go. Let's just let it go. We're just letting go. No. <laughs> You have to let go of what's not truly meant for you. You are a beautiful instrument and you are here for a reason and you are here, you have a purpose. We all have a divine purpose. So again, right now, I only make space for people who wanna be their greatest versions. These are the people in my life. I only have time for the things that are truly aligned and meant for me. I'm starting to attract things that were meant for me. Because now I have room. Again, you never attract what you want. You only attract what you are. The vibration that you are. Your frequency. And what you seek is always seeking you. Let's talk about the chakras. Remember how I said everything is frequency and vibration? That's kind of like your energy levels or your, your chakras in your body, right? So if everything is frequency and vibration, which is sound, which is light, which is what you are, then we are affected by other frequencies and sounds, and colors, and lights. So let's talk about the chakras a little bit. I had a lot of crazy experiences with my, with my chakras that led me here. I was homeless for a couple years, Eventually, I ended up growing this pain in my lower back. I physically grew a pain in my lower back. And essentially, it was because I was homeless that I didn't feel safe and secure within my own body. And it actually caused a physical pain in my lower back. I realized it was my chakras because I was starting to get into it a little bit. And I wasn't necessarily like acknowledging it and making it my reality. Until one day I went to my mother's on, on one New Year's and I saw my whole family again. It had been so long since I saw my family and <laughs> this pain that I had for about four or five months in my lower back started to physically change. It started to move up my entire back. It started to, it started to do crazy things. And it wasn't until I sat down and meditated when the pain in my back physically went away, that was there for three months. You should have saw me at my job. I was like, I was stretching and everything. I was like, oh my God, guys, I got this pain in my lower back. I don't know how to get rid of it. I was, I was stretching all day, every day. And I got to, it was actually that night, I got to this point when I, um, 
I actually, the pain got so overwhelming because I realized my chakras and the frequency and my energy, and what I tried to do was I, I put my hands up to it and I tried to heal it. <laughs> I messed myself up even worse because I didn't know what I was doing. I found myself crippled on the ground, bawling my eyes out like a, like a freaking baby. I had to beg my girlfriend at the time, my ex-girlfriend now, um, Sabrina, I had to beg her to put on a chakra balancing frequency because it was just my intuition telling me what to do. And I knew it, I knew it was because, again, I was kind of like, I was getting all these signs and synchronicities throughout the, throughout the year that led me to subconsciously have these in the back of my mind, these chakras and frequency and vibration and energy, right? So, I shit you not, when I put that chakra balancing frequency on, the pain in my lower back literally started to open up and heal. I had to give myself affirmations that corresponded with the root chakra. The root chakra deals with the vibration of safety and is blocked by fear. I must have felt fear. I, I must have not felt safe because I was homeless for three and a half years or whatever it was, however long. Yeah, about three and a half years, three years. And that's when I started really getting into the chakras. Hey, what's up, brother? It's good to see you here. What's up, Justin? Today we're talking about frequency and vibration. And a lot of stuff is happening on the planet right now, and I kind of mentioned it before. There's a huge, huge energy shift that's happening on the planet right now, my friend. I don't know if you've been keeping up with the planets. Um, essentially, what's happening is the frequency and vibration of the planet and the universe is doubling and doubling and doubling. And it's all about increasing your vibration. High vibes. You ever hear good vibes? That's high vibrations. It all comes down to the visible light spectrum. From red to violet. Red having the slowest wavelength, violet having the fastest one. This is what we exist of. We exist from red to violet. The sounds, the colors, the light, the energy. We're made up of numbers. Zero, one, zero, zero, one, two, two, three, three. <laughs> let's talk about synchronicities. Let's talk about, let's talk about things that are going on. Synchronicities. I mentioned this example before, but I'll do it again. You ever think about something specific? Like a guitar? And then somebody walks down the street wearing a t-shirt of a guitar. That's a synchronicity. Let's talk about these numbers. Are you seeing any specific numbers, like a lot, more than often? For me, I started seeing 444 four, four all the time, nonstop. There are four elements. There are four seasons. North, south, east, west. What's up, George and Steve? I'm glad you guys are watching. This is some real stuff <laughs> that everybody should know about. I hope you restart the video afterwards because there's a lot that you missed. It's okay, I'll be doing this a lot more often. Essentially what I'm doing is I'm helping increase the vibration of the planet right now. That's, what, that's the direction we're going towards. We need to guide the world into a positive light. It all comes down to raising that vibration eating high alkaline foods that raise your vibration. Ever since I was young, I would eat fruits and vegetables and I would get these chills in my, in my skin. I'd be like, what the heck is that, man? You guys, you guys feel that? What is that? No, I don't feel that. What is that? What do you mean? I was increasing my vibration and I was aware of it. A lot of the foods out there that we eat and consume are really acidic. The way you get sick is when you eat an acidic food and it causes mucus to form. That's how viruses get attached to you. It's all about having a high alkaline diet, being a high vibration, vibrating really, really fast. Like I said, everything is vibrating. Vibration just means movement. Everything is vibrating really, really fast. See that? 
This isn't even solid. That's an illusion. Everything is vibrating. It's all about raising your frequency. We are vibration and frequency. That's the direction we're heading towards. Let's hop back into the visible light spectrum. We have from red to violet. These are the colors that we exist in. Right? Yeah. <laughs> we have sounds that exist in our reality. Uh, ooh, ah, ah. I can make those sounds, so can you. It's a vibration. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about the chakras. Ask some questions. Share with me some experiences you're having. I would love to hear it. If you are now, you might after watching this. I'm not the only one that's causing a huge energy shift in the planet. A lot of us are waking up. Again, it's about raising that vibration and frequency. High vibes, low vibes. You don't want low vibes. Let me hop back into this. In order for me to move into my true authenticity and my greatest version, I had to let go of habits that weren't serving me. That was tricking me into thinking I was comfortable, when in reality it was keeping me stuck. I had to make room for the things that were truly aligned and meant for me. You have a divine purpose and so do I. We're all different instruments, however we are all connected. And we all came here to do something beautiful. And it's probably not working for someone else and making their dreams come true. I had to break my routine. I had to let it go. And when I say let go, I don't mean, yeah, let's lay back and let go. Fuck yeah. No. I had to let go of the things that weren't serving me so I can make room for the things that were truly aligned and meant for me. I'm still working on it. I'm still a work in progress. However, I'm a masterpiece at the same time, and so are you. We're all perfectly imperfect. Below the visible light spectrum, you have gamma waves. Sorry, gamma waves. You have microwaves. These are all low vibrations that aren't necessarily good for us. You don't want to vibrate at a low rate. You'll attract fear. You might find yourself isolated. So again, that was the first, it's funny. It's funny that my first experience was revolved around the root chakra. Everything has a root, everything comes from somewhere, right? As above, so below, you need roots in order to grow and blossom and bloom, right? Essentially, it's about increasing your vibration. The love vibration is a really, really high vibration. When people are in love, they feel whole again because we are all connected. Right? That's for sure. Feel free to ask any questions. I'll be doing this a lot more often. A lot of us are stuck down here in our sacral chakra, which is basically where I was stuck until recently. I was stuck in the sacral chakra because the sacral chakra deals with the vibration of pleasure. This is your pleasure sensor. Blocked by the vibration of guilt. We seek pleasure in specific substances or habits and we find ourselves stuck, unable to grow and develop and move into our true authenticity. So, I actually went through this huge, huge energy shift the other day and that's when I started seeing all these moth memes. The moth is a symbol of the mystery of the unknown. Essentially, we are all the moths and our phone screens are the lights or the lamps whether it's your television or your gaming system, it could potentially be holding you back from what you could be doing, your divine purpose. 
So a lot of us are even making the moth memes. <laughs> Again, I had to let go of the habits that weren't serving me to make room for the things that were truly aligned and meant for me. Right now, I only have time for people who want to be their greatest versions. I only make space for the things that are truly aligned and meant for me. The sacral chakra, your pleasure center, deals with the color orange, the element is water. This is why everybody wants sex 24-7, because we're stuck down here in our habits that aren't serving us. We need to move up here to our crown chakra, all of us. That's why I'm doing this every day. I'm trying to help everybody raise their vibration. I'm trying to... People need to know this stuff. We all have a divine purpose, and we should be living there. We have to let go of the blockages and resistances that aren't serving us. I'm so glad that you guys tuned in. I'll do this again tomorrow, right now. I have to go use the bathroom, actually. If I said something else, I'd be lying and that would cause a pain in my neck or my throat chakra. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Peace and love.